Hello, I'm Archie Luxury. Welcome to the program. Today we're looking at what does your wristwatch say about you and we're looking at some very famous models. We're looking at the Amiga Seamaster. What does the Amiga Seamaster say about the wearer? Well, to be honest with you, most people I've met who wear an Amiga Seamaster are a bit of a, f a, bit of a, um, a dickhead, to be completely honest with you. Um, it sort of it says that you're you're kind of you're trying to be trendy and upmarket, but in a um, in a very um, in a very low rent sort of way. It's sort of uh, most people who um, who wear an Amiga Seamaster, you say, "Oh, nice watch," and they've got this arrogance, arrogance and um, smartassness to them, which I've never seen in any other watch besides a Rolex Submariner. And uh, you know, I find it quite hilarious. I, I um, I've often had my Patek on when I've uh, commented to somebody who wears an Amiga Seamaster and I've said, oh, ni nice Amiga. And they, they've gone, oh, yes, what sort of watch do you have? I just said, oh, it's just a generic, no-name Swiss watch. I can't quite afford the Amiga. And they, they look at my Patek and say, yeah, one day, if you keep saving, you'll be able to afford one. They have no fucking idea how absolutely stupid, how absolutely fucking how they've been absolutely out outduced and uh, they just they just absolute fuckwits as far as I'm concerned and um, that's why I'll never wear an Amiga Seamaster because most of the wearers are absolute fucking morons and um, you know it, it, the demographic who's the who wears these Amiga Seamasters well it's usually 20 to 35 year olds uh, they think they're, you know, they've seen the James Bond movie and they've they've got a the first credit card, so they went and bought an expensive watch. They they have no idea that their watch isn't really a true luxury watch, and um, you know they've heard of a Rolex and uh, they they always try and justify themselves by saying, oh, this is as this is this is this is like this is top Swiss brand. It's 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 as good as a Rolex, and they've never heard of Patek. Never heard of brands like Jaeger La Culture or Vacheron. They're just completely inexperienced fuckwits. And um, you know, I, I like to call a spade a spade. And um, that's that's the uh, the average Omega Seamaster wearer. So um, I just want to um, stereotype that there. The um, the other thing about the Omega Seamaster wearer, they just think they're fucking they're God's gift to the world, and they're just just complete imbeciles as far as it goes and um i um i've worked with a few omega seamaster wearers and they're just fuckwits and um yeah that's that's, that's the um that's the truth there once they uh they wake up I'll, I'll, you know it, it it's going to uh, come as a shock the next group of people is the rolex submariner wearers now rolex submariners have often said they're like assholes everyone seems to have one and um you know, I've got a the Submariner is a great watch. I love the watch. However, I could never have one because of the fuckwits who actually do wear them, and this is the big problem. Um, the the Rolex Submariner wearer is sort of a um, a bit more glorified Omega Seamaster wearer. It's the next rung up. They're normally a um, a, a junior engineer in a, in, a, in an engineering firm. They're sort of the very you know they're earning big bucks. They've uh, you know they they're just smart ass little shits that's what they are smart ass little shits who wear a rolex submariner and it's so cliched it's so um it's just so awful that's that's that's, that's one of the um the only thing worse they could wear than a rolex submariner would be a fucking tag hoyer and and believe you me uh, <laughs> that demographic is split between you know the three brands omega seamaster rolex submariner and tag hoyer they're just I don't know what you'd say. They've got an ego. They've uh, they're just smart ass little fuckers who who need to be put into their place. And um, no no idea of horology or anything like that. They just um, you know just very very uneducated buyers of watches. They might be you know smart, but I'm just saying that as far as their watch buying habits go, uneducated little fuckers. And um, they've really given that genre a bad name. And that's the reason. I'll never wear an Amiga Seamaster or a Rolex Submariner, and um, you know it's a bit of a shame because the Rolex Submariner is a great watch. It's, it's you know it's one of the iconic tool watches. The problem with it is that so many tools seem to wear it, 
and um, that's the biggest problem I have with recommending a submariner to anyone. Um, the the sea dweller is probably a little bit better or the the no date sub I always love the line with the no date sub Oh, I couldn't afford the date part so I got the no you know the one without the date that's always a great line to to use on these wankers who who assume that theirs is the best because you know they're just the greatest person in the world they're just the cleverest smartest swinging dick in the office when to be completely frank and honest with you they are complete fuckwits okay I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me your opinion. Thank you.